Okay. Let's get in here. Let's go. What it is, what it does, what it do, everybody. I'm cynical. I'm here to play some games and maybe chat with you. Kiko, you leave him alone. Sorry, Corgi. Yeah. Yeah, you, girl. You gotta let that boy sleep. You need to let that boy sleep. Just trying to wake up my son. So he can start his day. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what we were getting into. Creepy shit. That's what it was. That's why I waited. I've been wanting to play Hogwarts for a couple days now, but I was like, I was streaming this shit before, so I wanted to continue streaming it. Rebellio. Interesting. Kiko! <clears throat> Gotta get that lantern. What in there? <laughs> Screw that chair. Kiko, stop it! Go put her somewhere. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body all the time. What's going on my wheel? It's always good to have a different perspective on things. Revelio. <clears throat> I don't know what it means by different perspective. Hmm. 
the ceiling. Okay. Ceiling everywhere. <clears throat> Kick a mad at me. I'll put her outside. Hmm. Do I not have a map either? No. Just kind of winging it. The cuttlefish. Caillou. Okay, so what am I missing here? Let me know. What was that about? Someone that spin shit. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Dang it, what did I just use? Maximum ah, I mean alright, but I'll just equip something that I don't have. Good break up. Bombada. Bombada. Good break up. Grace. Arrest the momentum. Yeah. <laughs> 
Incendio. Were there's were those candles lit before? <clears throat> Nothing to do with this fucking light. We'll figure it out. Incendio. I don't think it has anything to do with the fire. Transform. No. Get that one. Let's try all these ones first. Descender. Just bounces. Propeller. Okay, that put out the candles. <laughs> that don't put out those candles.
let's see. Lumos. Damn it. For a second I was about to use that fucking thing from Tears of the Kingdom. Slide up in there. Finally. What's going on? Just like... So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. Guardian Leviosa. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. Descender. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Oh, 
rule books and no play make one quite dull indeed. Descender! Flupendo! Accio! Egonium Leviosa! to go down if they're giving you health. Ah, you've chosen the scholar. You need more than you've learned from books to best me. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the dark. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Knight to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> Oh, so 
It's like Squid Games. I wonder if the chess pieces on the board indicate where I can't go. I can find a way to reveal the path. Revelio. Mm. Oh my. Cracks. Oh, thank you for the follow. I was so confused. I forgot I put that metal stuff on there. Well, what the fudge? This is a bit much. over this sucker. Hey ya. Ah. Hey ya. That's right. That wasn't too difficult. Don't fall. Okay. Oh goodness. <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Akio. Oh, what the hedge? The hedge. Guardian Leviosa. Incendio. 
Bombarder. Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the floor. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable for what's in store, do I? Back on the mic and the camera in a little bit. It was just a little chaotic in my place right now.
Lumos. Lumos. Now that should get your attention. 
Well, this has been fun. Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. Inordinately clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access through the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Can't just catch, can But can't catch, I mean.
places. Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I wouldn't call it fun, really. Wouldn't you? Hmm. To each their own, I suppose. So, about the contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Good. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, that's what's up. You've, You've worn, worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. We gotta go to the room of recrement or whatever the fuck it is. 
get a couple of these things figured out. I don't care about that. Let's get the fudge out of here. That was pretty wild, though. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's right, I'm back. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're mm. back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. You sure did. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. Forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from, from telling whom? me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Single will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. I hope so, Penny. Put that bag there. Yeah. Oh. Rebellion. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. Hmm. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Word. We shall. Oh Lord. Cassandra be trapping me in that shit. I'm like, that's weak. You brought the fuzz now, what you gonna do? It's brick in your face! What you gonna do with it? Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. Uh, uh. Yo. What? Uh, stop her. Uh. I should have known better than to do business with wild students. Can bring up uh. places. Bombard. Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up. Let me Why don't you just put me all up in that motherfucking shit? Get the fuck out of here. Capringo! Capringo!
bitch. That's right. What on earth are they teaching you at that school? Oh, you don't even want me to pull out that motherfucking dark magic, my girl. I can use maybe I gotta use potato. Try again. <laughs> Where'd she go? What? Revelio. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I think I broke it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I guess I gotta restart this. can't restart it? What the fuck, dude? Like, I'm just trapped in this fucking thing. This is bullshit. I wish I could run it back, like... And see exactly where she went. It's This is gonna suck, dude. Cause it just auto saved and she wasn't there. Oh my gosh, it's back! Yeah, let's go. Ah. You bitch. You fucking cunt. That's why you got your ass beat, dog. I 
should have known better than to do business with a wily student. <laughs> Transform. Let's try to transform that bear. And Leviosa. Protego. I can't do Protego with a red. Let's go. Luck is about to run out. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stupid fight. Ah! Can bring up. For a fight, true. Give me your ass, B Dub. Stupid one. Bad. Look at me, man. Lumos. Ooh, that's the one. Gringo. Protego. Oh. Stupid one. Give me the super fight. Yeah. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor as I should have known it was you! Silencio. Hmm, yo. Oh, I need that one. And not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. That's right. Let's 
go see Penny. Revelio. Hamora Kakashi Kakashi get down fucking dick bag my shop Penny I have what I hope will be good news officer singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me oh well that is good news Penny is so relieved Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner Penny I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend. Aww. And sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Hmm. Vesters and Venom. Sounds cool, but so does Stitches and Drops. I choose stitches and drafts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. <laughs> oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Yeah. Let's sell. Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell.
see what else we got going on here. We might end up hopping on some Call of Duty or something. I don't know yet. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. That'd be weird. Like he just rolled through water. So is are his pants like still wet? 
Or did it try to? Because magic. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts mm -hmm. that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Revelio. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. That's what we were doing. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you real. bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Nope. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laugh the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Okay. Nice. Let's go help our buddy out, because he needs it. He's going through it. 
sister sick and stuff. He's dabbling in dark magic now. We need to be there for him. Because that's what you do when your friend starts dabbling with dark magic. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Felthcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, He's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse this the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Thank you. 
I'm thinking one more mission, and then maybe I'll hop on my Call of Duty. So what mission, though? Let's get the dragon. Let's do that. I'm sure you had your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Over here. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbors aren't harmed. Hold on. That's a sad mission. Excuse all me, sir. Mission. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Take a whoop some Name's ass. Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Yeah, but I can fuck them up. Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. Uh-oh. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? Scared of spiders. Oh, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Keeks! Tried Minister old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape at all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. What if it's Mary that's doing all this? I wanted to get everyone out of the village. Hmm. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. I couldn't move, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Ugh. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting room. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. I don't know Merlin, what I'm suggesting. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. 
and if we can find her, we can return her egg. Well, what's pretty crazy, side note, because I'm streaming on a couple different things right now. I'm on Kick, YouTube, Twitch, and maybe even Twitter, I think, but YouTube seems to be like a whole 20, 30 minutes like behind. Whereas Kick is like right on, Twitch is right on. I'm not on, I don't, I'm not logged into Twitter like to where I could watch it right now, so I don't know about that, but. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. Just I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted Maybe to discuss with you. Maybe so they can like you. monitor it or something. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. At least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. Mm. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Go do I'll that. let you know when I have news of her location. Yeah, go do that. Alfred Lawley's none too pleased. Seems he's been burgled. I shall pretend I never heard the rumors of your involvement. It's all right. Well, I mean, I didn't necessarily pick this one, but... We can mess with it if we want. I do need to get back on to Call of Duty. Um, just generally. For the battle pass. And I do want to try the new Fortnite Legos. That's definitely on the list. Can I take my broom? Definitely on the list. So, that might happen at some point today. Whoa, Nelly. I know what that means. That's right. Merlin trial. Let's get it. Sometimes that helps. Evidently not this time. Down by the water. No water. Oh my goodness. We're falling. Not down there. Well, what the fudge bar? Aha. Oh. Oh. himself would be proud. Sheesh.
Revelio. Where you at? I've seen that paper. Uh oh, my controller died. Yeah. Of course it is. TJ gonna be like, Oh, you can't play because your controller died, huh? Come on. No broom. Okay. So like Yo, thank you for the fellow. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? No, it don't. But where that paper at I keep seeing? What is it? Maybe it's lower. Where's maybe? It's down here, maybe? Nothing over here. Hmm. All right. Why can't I take off from here? Oh my goodness! I'm about to pull a parachute like Call of Duty. <coughs> Am I like too close in the Hogsmeade to like? Get on my broom. Like what the what the deal is? Is there like a cave? Kiko, it's fine. Kiko, 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 stop it! He's out back. Why I have some promising news here? about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her. You Ooh. know what? Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Let's do that. Because, like, I want to save the dragon. Keeks! Keeks! Off on another adventure, are we? Like her. Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it and he confessed straight away. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. 
We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. That's right. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. <coughs> we should stay on foot. Invisible. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> yes. A more hushed approach is likely wise. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Where'd she go? It's worth she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. There's no sneak attacks. I wonder how many they brought together. <laughs> Angus. Angus Young. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. <clears throat> Nothing else was in here. Fantastic. She's breathtaking from a distance. Yeah, 
anything up close, you could take a breath too. her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Right? Watch your step. Still be able to or just raring for a fight. Ask me. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Look, I didn't 
There's the nest. We're all rebellion. Why is Repel. every bridge here broken? Because of the dragon, dog. Broken. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. We're cool. We're cool. We put that there. It's okay, you know. Yeah. I think we just made a friend. She said, yeah, but you guys just snuck in here real easy. I gotta go. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. I wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Yeah, dragons are cool, man. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. <coughs> I just want to see what's up here. I wonder how long she lived here, or where she'll go now. No broom? <coughs> Bullshit. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What the fuck is going on, dog? You need to tell me what the fuck is going on. How could I have been so blind? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to her. You need to tell me what's going on. Can't, she won't tell me. So we went to Universal and we all, even all the kids, all of them, like my wife and I, we all got wands. And if you walk around Hogsmeade, there's little things you can do with your wand. Shit's dope, dude. Shit's dope. Like you'd like walk up and there'll be a little thing on the ground and if you stand there, you do the shit, like some shit happens. It's cool. It's cute. <laughs> 
All right, with that, we saved the dragon, got the dragon egg. I'm gonna hop off for just a minute. I'm gonna hop on to Call of Duty. Um, see if the guys are playing. Yeah, this should be on. So you can join me um, in just a minute. Um, I'm gonna be playing with two of my homies, Monstrum and uh, Shigaboom. Cool as fuck dudes, funny as fuck. Uh, they both stream too. So, make sure to tune in on the next stream. Um, you know, hang out with the crew. It's fun. It's good times. Peace out. Thanks for rocking with me. And like I said, I'll be back in just a couple minutes.